college sports are booming in the Valley. ASU, GCU, Arizona Christian, and now Ottawa in surprise. All fielding teams. But there's actually a small school in Mesa with an enrollment of about 500 students <laughs> is the latest to hoist the national championship trophy. Our Mark McClune has more. On the corner of Main Street in Mesa, Arizona is one of college sports best underdog stories. You may not even notice Benedictine University at Mesa when you drive by, but walk in the door and you'll see the NAIA Men's Volleyball National Championship Trophy proudly on display. We still don't have facilities yet, and so it's meant a lot and just shows that if you work hard and persevere, the gym doesn't really matter that much. It's about the group of guys and the buy-in and the commitment, and, and you can do anything you put your mind to. Benedictine opened its doors in 2013. They don't have athletic facilities yet, and this year's senior class didn't even have a dorm room to stay in. Our dorms were actually in the hotel, at the Marriott Hotel across the street uh, on the fourth floor and I didn't have any money so I was staying there with my other teammates, switching rooms, sleeping on the floor and there was countless, countless hard times where I debated, what am I doing here? Like Benedictine University at Mesa? I've never heard of that school. But the story actually starts in the 2018 title game when the Red Hawks had to watch somebody else hoist the national championship trophy. It was a terrible feeling, you know, a lot of emotion going through us and we just remember, I just remember like, we gotta, we gotta finish this. I remember being in that locker room and talking to the group of guys and saying, you have a decision to make in this moment. You can decide that this is acceptable or you can decide that you never wanna feel this again. The Red Hawks carried that feeling of unfinished business with them all season. And when the final point was scored in the final match of 2019, it made every second of sacrifice worth it. Jesus passed the ball to Jaren. Jaren sets me. I put the ball away, and it's just we just erupt. And I just remember I just I was sitting there like this, and then Bobby comes and runs and just picks me up, and he's just like, "We did it." We're like grabbing each other, looking at each other, like we did it. And Jaren and Devin over there just giving each other a big hug. And it was so much fun to just see how they could put aside their own ego for the betterment of a team. And you rarely get that as a coach. You know, as much as it's talked about, as much as they talk about selfless players, it was just a whole group of guys that just cared about winning as a group, didn't care about the personal accolade. So that's super special. The Red Hawks may win another national title, but there will never be a team like the 2019 version. The team that helped put Benedictine University on Main Street in Mesa, Arizona on the map. I'm Mark McClune for Arizona's Family.